Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amount play The Unfinished Swan. On the last episode we got this started off and it caused Mallory to experience severe motion sickness. <laughs> yeah, um, and I it, have a history with that though, so. Yeah, Mal, um, Mal had a hard time playing the original Portal. And Portal 2 to an extent? I did, but I changed it Once you change the FOV. On Portal 2. Yeah, on, so. com on computer games, you can change the FOV, and that helps people with motion sickness a lot. On console, you generally can't, including the Unfinished Swan. Now, I was I was basically fine in the first episode. Mao was not. By the end of the first episode, she was, like, super, super yeah. sick. But she pushed through it like a champ. <laughs> and um, reading some stuff online, it, it seems like a lot of other people have had this problem. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's not the first time this has ever happened. No. Apparently it's related to the first area. So if you watch the first episode and you also experience some sickness, apparently, based on the reviews of other people, it does get better. Because some of the problems is related to you're in this space of white. And you, there's no depth. There's no depth, and that plays with your brain, and it gives you some motion sickness. Like, one of the problems I had was when you were real close to something, and you didn't know it because yeah. it's all white, and then you would throw something, and suddenly it'd be black, and it would be immediately black. Yeah. Um, anyway, so today, Mallory is in control. Yeah. And that actually should help a lot, too, because yes. you'll be able to... I know which way I'm going to turn and jump. and Yeah, but mm -hmm. from what I understand, um, the white stuff at the, the very beginning of the game, that mechanic is generally gone. Like, we're moving into new mechanics now. Also, this is an island in France. It's the one that the tide comes up, and you can't get to it if the tide is up. I've been there. You, oh, I want to go there. It's really, really cool. I, I really want to go there. I have been there in real life, and it is super cool. And I can't remember the name of it, oh. but it's it's like its own little village. I know, and I it's on the tip of my tongue, and I just can't remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been there. It's cool. Jealous. That, oh, well, we'll go together at some point. Uh, anyway, now that there's... Uh, oh. oh, look, there it is. <laughs> That's cool, though, to like come around the corner and be like, and oh. And see it, yeah. Oh, God. Do you, do you see what I'm seeing? I mean, not the swan. The, what, the, the maze? maze? Oh, I like mazes. Okay. There was a maze map, but you painted over it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Wow. Hmm. That's okay. I'm good at mazes. Well, then, then good luck. Good luck to you. Uh, the other thing I adjusted is uh, you don't have a whole lot of controls over the camera stuff, but you can change the camera speed, so I lowered that a little bit. Yeah. And that should help Mal uh, progress as well. Yeah. But the fact that they're shadows is helpful. Mm -hmm. The shadows definitely start to help. Huh. Also that I'm throwing slower and not just... I was machine gunning it. Yeah. But to be fair... You in needed the, it I then. I kind of needed it at the yeah. beginning. There was so much white that I had no idea where I was. It looks like a face. Yeah, yes. So there's stairs that lead down. But who wants to do that? <laughs> the answer, not me. Whoa. That, no, I didn't like that. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, you, you, you're throwing these paintballs and you have no idea where they're gonna land. Yes. You assume, like, your brain is is trying to constantly... Oh, shoot. Yeah. Like, put together pieces of the world and fill in the blanks. And when you play a game like this, sometimes it's genuinely surprising. Uh-huh. Because your brain is trying to put together pieces of the world, so you're like, there is a wall there. And when you throw the paint and it doesn't hit anything, your brain has to quickly, like, re-encode what it thought was there. Yes. And it plays with your head a lot. And I think some people like that. Like, they embrace that idea. And then other people are like, oh my god, this is awful. So, you could fall into one of two camps. But I feel like anyone who thought it was truly awful abandoned us in the first episode. They're like, oh god, I can't do this. And they're gone. Uh, everyone else, welcome back. Nice to have you. I'm honestly just wandering and not trying to get through, just so you're aware. I can tell. Um, I can tell. You seem to just be slowly spinning in circles and throwing. That's a dead end. Correct. Yeah, I'm actually, um, I'm thinking about the fact that there was a map and I was like, cover in paint. That's weird. See the paint? Is... Can you go that way? No, like, look. The 
paint I threw from over there, one underneath. It's like this wall is fake. I mean, it could just be. Uh, it, it could be a glitch. Yeah, it's a, just a. It's a video game, so it could just be a video game doing a video game thing. It seems more likely that it's just a video game. It's it's a maze. Yes. It's a maze, and I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to walk through the gate. I'm getting there. I mean, look. Look at what. I mean, it's not. It's it's unfair for me because I've had one full episode to get a, get used to everything. Uh huh. So now you are in the the hot seat, and it's a little different because you're experiencing this game for the first time. But my assumption. Oh look. Oh, there we go. No one fails some some story. The labyrinth was designed to be beautiful, and it was. It was not designed to be practical, <laughs> and it wasn't. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time, mail took months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. And he put in stairs. Maybe. I'm, I'm thinking maybe the idea is that it grew to a point where you couldn't ignore them, so what he did is he... you trying to cheat the system? Yeah. It's probably... My my thinking from, uh -huh. a, from a playing video game is that they want you to follow the gold. Yeah. That's what they've been doing. So you can probably get through this pretty quickly and easily by door. just following, following the gold. So you get through here. Welcome to the maze. The maze officially begins. But also, maybe they'll just let you walk on top. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hey, Swan. You see what just happened? Yeah. You just warped to the middle. Uh-huh. And there's more story. I know, but look at the swan. I mean, I, I, you probably want to do the story Fine. first, because I feel like that's going to like transport you again. The king was so frustrated with the messy, demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. And the people starved. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to assume that they figured it out for themselves. They figured out how food worked. Bye. So the swan left. Perhaps it's, uh, before you jump in that hot air balloon, um, perhaps it is possible to... To look out the yeah. telescope? Oh, balloon! I mean, I will, after I get my first balloon. One shot, nice. Thank you. You can see all your little paint splotches you did. Oh, it shows you where a balloon was hiding the whole time. Uh, I'm not going back. <laughs> I don't blame you. You can't move any other. It's just, you can just zoom in. Yeah. The telescope exists solely to be like, ha ha, you missed this. You missed it. Don't you feel dumb? You could have got it, but then you didn't get it. I see my balloon and I want it painted black. <laughs> Like I like how when you, time in weeks, Monroe you, you uh, felt good. lowered your volume for the song <laughs> section. Even better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. He was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he remembered almost immediately. That might have been the end of Monroe if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. Oh. Suddenly sharks. Suddenly sharks. Chapter 2, The Unfinished Empire. So that was all chapter 1. Uh -huh. It was like part 1, 2, and 3 of chapter 1. So if I go... Oh, look, that's how many balloons we got. Ah. Look how many you missed. Wow, <laughs> Mallory. Thank you. Should I continue with two? You should continue. As opposed to quitting forever. Let's see what chapter two holds in store for us. I like the little loading screen animation. Mm -hmm. Monroe scrambled out of the water and found himself in a massive city with no sign of the swan or anyone else. 
Well, except someone's enormous pair of feet. These were attached to a giant who could have been a big help in catching the swan, but unfortunately, here was the laziest giant who had ever lived, and it was his day off. Having celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better, a floating ship. There was a floating ship in that one room. Yeah, I was going to say, this seems familiar. This is the model. It's the model. There was a balloon somewhere on the model. It was, like, in the top center most part. Okay. So it was just foretelling the future. Mm -hmm. It's like a watercolor painting. Well, yeah, like well, an ink bluest. wash. Yeah. And then, like, the blue watercolor on top of it. There's the swan. And the giant. Oh, and there's Ooh, a little red. bit of red. Ooh. You have water now. And it dries. Like water. <laughs> oh, shush. Yeah. I think maybe the top. Just, just, just an idea. Not an expert at these sorts of things. Beautiful. I have a door. You do have a door. And I have a bridge. And you have a bridge. Let's do the bridge. I feel like the bridge is probably where you're supposed to go. Then let's do the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... Because I, color seems to be how yeah, they are guiding you through the level. I know. Very reminiscent of uh, Mirror's Edge, actually. Ooh. Now the balloons are blue. And there are 28 in Chapter 2. Uh-huh. Much more than Chapter 1. You know, it's not a competition. No. But I will turn it into a competition. <laughs> Just watch me. Just I know you me. will. Oh, wow. Oh, you're getting lucky. Oh, I can't get it from here, though. Yeah, See? it looks like you crawl up a, uh, a ladder. Uh-huh. At some point. You have to be on the lookout for that ladder. You can safely walk across there, I guess. Yeah, I have to. Beautiful. And again, they're using just those slight, uh, the slight hints of color to uh, to guide you from one location to another. Too far away. Watch me. I, uh, you, it's too far away. Okay. I believe that's why the other platform is uh, is probably there. Boat. Huh. So now. You can still kind of use this to figure out where you are. Uh-huh. But it disappears. Yeah, but it disappears. Is there something to climb there? Because you can press X to jump, but you're not going to be able to jump that yeah. high. But I don't believe you'll be able to go in there. Hmm. Yeah, the swan could get up there, but it doesn't look like you have that same luxury, unfortunately. But, here's a rock! Oh, wait. Huh. This is actually... Is that the giant? I'm like in a sewer. Yeah, you are in a sewer. Oh, <gasps> but you found more story, Mal! I did find more story. And it was hard to find. Before he discovered painting, the king was a potter. He loved the simplicity of a well-spun pot. Who doesn't? So when his subjects complained that his new city was too austere and that there was nowhere to relieve themselves, the king ignored them. But when they started relieving themselves in his pots, the king hastily built them a sewer system. That's gross. <laughs> I mean, the king's actually, like, helping the people when they ask for things. And now we're back to kind of... Uh, 
feeling of the beginning of the game where we're we're lost and we're guiding ourselves through using this water. Shit. Oh god. The problem is if you get like turned around. Oh, I think no, it's behind you. I think the left is where you came from. Yeah, and then that. Yep, there you go. <gasps> That's gonna take you to the balloon. It better. And if it doesn't? I'll be sad. Yeah. It was also really cool because, again, the shadows are just that. They're shadows. Uh-huh. So there is no light down in the sewer, which is why there was no light down there. Cool. Very cool. I really like this game. It's different. It's very different. But it's beautiful, and I really like playing unique experiences like this. Oh, there's story over there. Where? The S. Oh, I missed that. Can you hit it from here? Don't look like it. That was close, though. Maybe you can hit it from here. Yeah. Nice. Sometimes the giant wondered about where all the people in the city had gone. Mostly he worried they might come back and ask him to clean their gutters or put out their fires. But they never did. And that was why the giant, who was the laziest that had ever lived, was also the happiest. It's a pretty big giant, but I guess giants are supposed to be big, so it <laughs> makes sense. Oh, look what I did. And that'll probably cause the thing to float. Uh-huh. Now you'll be able to go that way. Before you do, perhaps check the, uh... Yeah, maybe there's something hiding around this corner. Or not. Was there anything up? Um, oh, you. Oh, it was a gap. I was looking and seeing if there was anything over there. Okay. Now back down to where you were. <laughs> Beautiful. You can finally get that uh, balloon. The blue one? The one that troubled you so. Stop trub troubling me. <laughs> Stop trubbubbling. Don't trebubble me. Trebubble you. Just seeing if there's story in places, like, because I missed the one. If I turned around at the bridge, I probably would have seen it. Ah, so we we entered into an area of light before now, and then an area Red. of dark. Bats don't really freak me out. Like, I know they freak out some people. Yeah, I also don't find them frightening. They're just really cool. Look at all my balloons to get. Bats are just night birds. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> just a bird at night. I mean, they're not. They're very different. But, you know, they're basically, basically the same. Nope. That is too far away. My guess is that you will be closer. Probably. Probably. It's nice that the balloons seem to have color now, though. Yeah, they're easier to find. Well, the one in the maze didn't. Part two, scaffolding. Yeah, but that was in ch chapter one. That's true. Now it seems as though they have... This ladder is broken. Well, so I Will bet... water repair it? Yes. I mean, I, it was a, leg I was a legitimate question, but... What's that? Probably the fire escape. There you go. You can also go that way. I'm not sure you can. I need to find out. Uh, you, you're you loud, but I, I don't think you can. I think you're going to get up there and find that you can't climb boards because no one can climb boards. <sighs> you are possibly right. I mean, I, I think I'm definitely right, actually. Huh. Blue chair. <laughs> Take that chair. Now you're wet. And there's the balloon that you were aiming for earlier. Poof. There's something very fun about. I about know, and the noise. The is noise. So good. It's the noise. I love the noise. Well, that's the end of this let's play. Mal will be here forever. <laughs> I'm guessing they want you to jump to the Yeah, they the, do. Because the look, it's broken. Yeah. Dang it. 
Oh, you did not make it. No, oh. I didn't. Crap. All right, Mal's gonna give it another shot. Nope. Oh boy. For all the marbles. Oh, son of a piss. For the gold. Oh! All right, fin finally up the, uh, the stupid ladder. I need to go. <laughs> I think you just went all over the door. <laughs> There's another ladder. But there could also be balloons. There we already could be. We already know that gold is where you're supposed to go. But I would have. What? Balloons. Yeah. What? 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 What are you doing? Ooh, a green balloon. Wait, where are you go? Where are you going? Uh, I was going up. What? Well, why? Cause gold is where you're supposed to go, right? Yeah. So should should I'm sorry. I am not I'm attempting to like control you. I'm just saying like shouldn't you check for balloons before you follow the gold? Uh probably. I mean, maybe this is the way they want you to go. I don't know. I'm just saying that from my perspective, it feels like the gold has been where they've been leading you. Oh, it looks like it didn't matter. <laughs> well, forget it. Um the gold looks like where it's been leading you ultimately yeah so off the beaten path would be away from gold but also i don't know because it doesn't seem to matter Bye. so ignore everything i said you just go wherever you want <laughs> okay i will now it looks like i can go there but i can also go here <laughs> be be free balloon travel away look at that gorgeous a tree the tops of the buildings are blue too it seems to me that maybe as you progress it'll maybe add some more colors in because uh -huh. it seems to have been doing that which is nice wow that was a scary jump so this will allow you to go somewhere Wait, where oh. Um, That's too far. You're back. What? What do you mean too? Far? You're where you started. I just had a theory. <laughs> so sometimes the actions you choose to perform within video games confuse me. <laughs> My brain's like, wait, what are you? What is it you're doing? So okay, so I'm over here now, and I can't get any of that way, and I can't get that way. Really. And that's where I came from. Well, hold on. Let's let's look at this a little bit more. I mean, that's that looks like maybe where you're supposed to go. Uh huh. It seems very inviting with the double doors. Look to your left and and down a little bit. I'm wondering if maybe you come out of there, but maybe not. That's where I was. No, I meant the doorway. Oh yeah. Um, the thing that you're standing on. Uh huh. Turn turn around and look at that. Like, you whenever you got on it, it was. At one direction, I and you did it I fully. Do. I need to stand here, turn it. Well. What? You're sure you can't crawl up between the middle of those boxes? It's too high. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I need to turn it while I'm on this. Oh. That's okay. what I need to do. Yeah. See? So you need it to go. Because I jumped onto it there, yeah, right? Yeah, this is, this is where it started. So. <laughs> Sorry, you've, you've told me about this Grandmaster plan, and I'm still not sure what it is. I don't know either. Now, uh, just, just hit it so it continues to spin, because that's... No, 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 that's the way it was. Yeah, hit it that way, because that's at least the way... That's the way it wasn't. Yes. So that's correct. I think your goal now is to just go over there. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get over there. I think you just jump. That's it. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I don't think the puzzle was hard. It was just, here is a red thing. Make sure you hit it. <laughs> and you're like, wait, no. There is a grand mystery behind this. If I get on the ladder and I do it <laughs> at 45 degrees and then I jump on and I do a half spin. 
you did it. Though. I, I, you, I you, see this that. Is mm -hmm. This is it. <laughs> this is all you had to do. <laughs> I see that now. Good work. And the good news is you'll be able to travel over um, to the other side, and you'll finally be able to get those balloons. Take that, balloons. Um, hmm. Can you jump to the left? I mean, obviously you can get those. Oh, uh, yeah, you're high enough. I think you'll be safe. <laughs> I, I, I real. I think... Oh, it connects. Yeah. Well, that's even better then. Go ahead and get that balloon, and then enjoy your freedom, because you're you're done. Okay. You're done. The episode is complete. Uh, a lot changed. It did. Um, the first episode that I played was basically, welcome to nothing land. Uh -huh. Throw black paint on the walls. And your episode was quite different. You had color. We've moved into chapter two now. Uh -huh. uh, next episode, I'm in control again, and maybe the world will continue to change. Look, I'm not it looks sure. looks like Venice. It does. It really does. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, join us next time for more Stephen Amount play The Unfinished Swan.